This program is going to be simple and it's going to show you how we can use iteration in our program. Now, the first thing I need to do is set up a variable. Now, what we're going to do is have a light go across the screen. And I'm going to show you how to do this using variables. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is obviously to get a variable which represents the x value across the screen. So I'm going to set, and I'm going to rename this to x position. And to begin with, I'm going to set this, and I'm going to go to maths and set it to zero. So at that point, x position is zero. Now, if I was to get it to use that x position at the moment with lights, what I can do is go to LED, plot x and y, and I could use that variable in x now. So let's have a look at what that does. If I go to variables and go to x position and run that, you can see that that uses that number. Now what I am going to do is I want to use a loop that increases that number. This is where we use a for i from 0 to 4. So watch. If I go from i to, from 0 to 4, what I can do is actually use x position because it's already started at 0. Now, if I go 0 to 5, watch what happens when I press run. Now that's been so quick because we haven't put a weight in there. So let's go back. Let's make sure our program is clear at the beginning. And let's put a weight in after each of the lights have been paused. So we're going to do it for two seconds so you can see what happens. So let's run that. So that's a simple loop that increases the value of x. So it says from 0 to 5. Well, it's starting at 0 and it's increasing it by 1 each time. Now, what you may want to do is each time you may want to unplot. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to plot that, but I'm going to unplot it. And I'm going to use my variable again. So what you will see is the light go out and the next light should go on. So let's run that. And that's simple to get a light going across the screen. Now to change the speed, you can change how much it pauses. So if I click on that and go to run, that's how you can do that. Now, if I wanted to go backwards, I might need to use a different loop. That is in a different video. So that is a simple video for using iteration, which is the process of increasing each time. Enjoy.